welcome to the Shea family everyone in today's video we we got a video request from one of our our subscribers that we should make a video and asking the case some questions so this is case interview the title of this video is let, let them talk, talk. Yeah. let's go you are interested in hang around and enjoy this interview with the G family. family all right so today we'll be letting the kids talk we'll ask them a few questions about mom and they are going to be answering and why so today the question I'm going to ask them is if they were to choose a mother in their next world would they choose me? So, you first, Stephanie. Uh, mommy. You will choose mommy. And why would you choose mommy? Because she makes me food. Oh, because I make her food. Another thing? Nothing. Nothing, just food. All right, Stephanie said she will choose mommy because mommy makes her food. So, Christopher, I'll choose you. And why? I don't want any other mom in the next life. I'll do the best to her. Yeah. All right, I'm so blessed. She said, I will choose you because you are the best mommy in the whole world. I don't want any other mom. All right, so if there's anything mommy could do better, what would that be? Hmm. Stephanie? Uh, but mommy doesn't make you angry? No. Nah. Okay, so there's nothing mommy could do better. So the question goes to Christabel now. I have no idea. She... Except, except, maybe be a little less strict. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie said, uh, Christopher, uh, Stephanie said nothing. And uh, Christopher said, Except being a little bit, uh, a little less, strict. a little less strict. That means mommy is so strict. You are not too strict, but just be a little less strict. <laughs> okay, I said she is not too strict, but just be a little less strict. Okay, so <clears throat> what do you think? What makes you happy when you are around mommy, Stephanie? He makes me food when it's morning. Mm -hmm. And then he takes me for shopping. Wow, mommy makes her food in the morning and takes her for shopping. And what again? And he buys me milk. Wow. <laughs> of course, you go buy milk. Mommy buys her milk. Of course, you go buy milk. And sausage. And sausage. So that's what makes her happy when she's around mom. Mom takes her shopping and all this and that. You heard her from, heard it from her mouth. So Christopher, uh, <laughs> she makes you food. Um, also like when she tells jokes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like her hugs as well. All right, and um, that's what she's saying. She loves the hug. All right. So, <clears throat> what is the best food that mommy? prepares for you how oh. does mommy treat you special mommy makes spaghetti to treat stephanie is there any other way mommy treats you uh, she makes me noodles oh, yes mommy makes noodles <laughs> and spaghetti to treat stephanie and rice, <laughs> and rice. okay guys and now the question goes to Stephanie, um, Christabel. Say there's something needles, spaghetti, um, chicken and chips, sometimes with burger as well. What else do you make? Yeah, cream pasta sometimes. Cream pasta? Creamy pasta, salmon. All right, so that's what mommy, how mommy treats them. So these children... And sometimes, and sometimes, sometimes, yeah. And sometimes, and you know when I told you about my grace, you said you'll treat me to something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how, that's another way. Uh, I thought she sent you money for free as well. 
So you see, mommy treats them, give them money for free, make them their favorite food. So it's good always to treat children, to give them a memory, to remember and say, mom do this, mom do that, mom do that. But probably I'm not the best mom in the whole world. We do all these things to hear from them, to know where we are going wrong and where we are, what we are doing right. So what is the most precious gift you have ever gotten from mom? Oh, hmm. Stephanie? Uh, a unicorn. <laughs> a unicorn? No, you never got one. Unicorn? Uh huh. What's unicorn? Um, Are you con a rainbow unicorn. You got a rainbow unicorn. Is it on your dress or your top or your trouser? Uh, um, on my top. On your top? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Any other thing? Okay, no. So, Christopher, of any special gift mom has ever yeah, all the gifts you gave me are special. I couldn't choose which ones were the best. You have to oh. Okay, so she has a lot of gifts that, that are special, so she can't really decide which one is more special. Alright, that's good. So, I'm blotting. I see, at least, I'm treating them nice and giving them special gifts. So, how do you feel when mom gets upset? Um, it makes me cry. So when mommy is upset, you cry. So what do you think you can do to stop making mom upset? Um, I will make mommy be happy again. Oh, so what do you do to achieve that? Hug mommy. You hug mommy. Ah, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, best young goes to Christopher. How do you feel when mommy gets upset? Scared. Scared, and why? Because you know what I mean? I mean, you could, I don't know, grab me or suspend with me. I don't know the right word for it. Take my phone away. Or you could uh, shout at me. So or you could beat me. I don't know. So what what do you think you could do to make mommy feel better? Depends on the situation. Uh, maybe I just leave you alone for a bit. Because sometimes if you are in a bad mood and I talk to you, make it even more angrier. It's better if I leave you alone for some a bit and then you can calm down then yeah. Okay. What do you think makes mom happy? Stephanie, the question, okay. Okay, so when we behave, first of all, because mm -hmm. we did behave, obviously you're going to be angry, I mean, of course, and uh, when we buy you stuff, or... Then, if you go do? for shopping, you, you, you <laughs> tell your mom to get you sweet, and they say no. Okay, so that's what makes mommy happy. <laughs> oh my lord. Ow. But it, it just makes mommy angry. Who do you think that can make mom that makes mom happy? Uh, toys. Buy toys. Mom doesn't like toys. <laughs> oh, I mean, huh, um, like mommy. Hug like mommy. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, that's oh. good. So, what makes mom happy, uh, Christopher? Okay, so when we behave ourselves, when we often when we hug jokes and then you laugh or we do something funny. <laughs> like example Stephanie when she talks to you about <laughs> uh when you buy your stuff, maybe. Uh what have you learned from mom? As me being your mom, what have you learned? As in we are still in a learning process. What what are you learning from mom? Stephanie. Uh fun I I make food for you when I grow up. I will make food for you all day when I grow up, like Christopher. Yes, I will. All right, great. So you're learning that you should make food for your mom when you grow yeah. up. That's great. Christopher, what I... is your greatest asset? What have you learned? Well, what are you learning from mom? To be prayerful a lot, to pray all the time, mm -hmm. to never give up. Mm -hmm. uh, Never let my guard down um, to be strong, mm -hmm. to be nice, in, inside, at home and also outside, uh, to take care of myself. 
it's a big one since I'm growing. Um, to cook, I'm still learning. Uh, what else? Alright, she's counting what she says. There's a lot. It's just it so the one morning. that stood out for me is she said to be prayerful that mom prays all the time. So prayer is a legacy we should pass on to our children. It should be a praying mom or a praying dad or a praying family. It's so important when children mention it themselves that that is what they have learned. You teach them now. What you teach them is what they will learn to do. So you have to groom them from baby for them to continue to hear them when, 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 praying, singing, praying, singing all the time. It will help them to grow and help them to be a person of their own. Like they know that this is what I was, I was taught when I was a child and I'm passing it on to my children. How do I do that? I have to start from beginning from when they were born they continue to hear that prayer hear that noise until they grow up and when they have their own children they will do what pass it on to their own children it's a very great legacy and when you pray someone that pray if you are a prayerful child of god you are literally a dangerous child of god because it is difficult for you not to be what you want to be once you're a prayerful person i don't know what could stop you you will be unstoppable so it's good to teach our children how to pray so another one how do you feel when you go to school when mommy is not there Dad. Mm -hmm. do you miss mommy when you go to school yeah and when he goes to work i stop crying when christopher gives me food okay so when <laughs> <laughs> well, i don't understand what you're saying <laughs> so when i go to work and mommy is not there if somebody give you food, you will start crying. Yeah, but I'm not angry. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm at school. Oh. All right. So, that's good. So probably she's talking about when you go to her home and I'm at work. Oh. All right. So Christopher, what do you miss? Do you miss mommy when you go to school? How do you feel when mommy is not there? Uh, I actually feel fine. But I do miss you though. Because I wish I was at school sometimes. Mm -hmm. Depending on how I'm feeling. Mm, depending how you're feeling yeah when you go to school all right so when you go to school do you think um mommy is at work do you think mommy think about you yeah because you always say it mm, because i always say it. but i also think even if you don't say you still you still think about me anyway mm. so how do you think you can keep yourself safe when you're outside when mom is not there being aware of my surroundings because anything could happen so i need to be careful and also look where i'm going like for example crossing the road in school do you look forward to coming home yes i know you look forward to coming home to coming home when you finish school yes. okay so that means you love home when you are coming home, you're happy to come home, to come and meet mama, isn't it? Hmm? But mama, hmm? when I grow up, I will go home by myself when I go to my school. Yes, when you grow up, you will come home by yourself from school, okay? But it's not yet time, when the time comes, so that mommy also can be free a little bit, not running up and not come and pick you up. You think I can wait? No? I can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want it to happen now, 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 so that I just know. I wake up, I go to my work, I don't have to come home or be rushing to drop that child or pick that child up. But it's all fun, you know. But when we stay home, you go to work when we don't go to school this morning. Yes, when you stay home, I go to work. So that's when you're on holiday. But when we eat breakfast, we eat cereal this morning when you are gone to work. Yes, that's it. All right, guys. I hope you're enjoying this interview. So this is Let Them Talk. They didn't know I was going to ask them this question because somebody has sent me this request that we should make the video. So it's good for you to know how your child feel around you and feel when you're not there and know a little bit of what they think about you. So, how much do you love your mommy? 
So, um, why do you love your mommy too much? Because she takes me to go for shopping. <laughs> I knew we were going to say that. <laughs> and she takes me to get some milk and donuts for Christopher and me to eat. Wow. Yes, donuts. The donuts, they <laughs> love donuts. So, how much do you love your mom? A lot. <coughs> A lot. Yo. Mm, these are my princesses. Oh, so uh, so Mikas. So make it. Oh, All right, she love her mom so much, and why? Because we're very kind. Because she's very kind. All right, so you guys have heard from them. So next time they are going to be asking me about them, so I will answer. I don't know what they are going to be asking me about, but today the video has come to an end. The interview has finished. It is from all of us. We thank you so much for staying with us throughout this video. If this is your first time here, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, and turn on the notification bell just in case if you upload any video, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you so much, returning subscribers. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for all the love that you've been showing us on this channel god bless you we love you stay safe out there from the chain family bye, bye everyone oh.